Hello everybody, Don here from Dead Next Play Games, and we are back in Space Engineers. And yes, I have my wheels on upside down. These parts are supposed to be up top. So we need to fix that, uh, which means I need to do pistons. Small grid piston. Uh, let me see. I need to do facing down. We want to have that be there. And we want another one. There. Eh, actually, I probably don't need to... Probably don't need to do the, um... Piston head. There we go. And we need to... Uh, um... Control panel, no, control panel, pistons, um, maximum distance will set to one meter for now, there we go, and then we will Hop in the cockpit. We will detach. Um, ah, boy. Why you gotta do that? Uh, all blocks. Nope. Battery should be on auto. Let's get it back here. Still going to try to tip forward on me a little bit. No. No. Come on. Get those down. Let's hop out. I'm gonna need two more on the front. Pistons three and four. We want to reverse. Come on, yep, tip back. Tip back. You can do it. And rest. There we go. Now let's. That gyro might fall off. Yep. Dang it. Which means that one's going to fall off as well. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. We had five by five wheel suspension. Left. And right. We are on the right side. Now, does that have the right bits pointing up? Yes. Can we add the wheel to it? No, no, we can't. Really? Why can't we add the wheel to it? Hmm. I'm confused. What would it be? What what does it think it's clipping into? Yeah. I don't like it when it auto-rotates on me. Okay, so I just don't have it high enough. That's the problem. No! Got to pay attention to the tooltips. Uh, let's see, six. Let's weld that back up. Uh, let me see. Nine, I... We can make this work. We can totally make this work. <laughs> How many pistons does it take to change your wheels? There we go. Right side wheels. Uh, and you're still not adding a wheel. Why are you not adding a wheel? That should be high enough. Let's see what that does. Why not just add more pistons? We had a wheel. Yes. Now we can add the wheel. Okay. No. Uh, right there.
And now it has the right bits facing forward. Or facing up. We gotta add gyros back to it. Attach the gyros to the bottom of the batteries, I guess. Oh, I gotta add it to the build planner before I can extract stuff. There we go. And control panel gyroscope three, we're gonna have as override. Now, all the pistons, reverse, <laughs> let's grind all these stupid things off. And then we're going to go take this thing for a test drive. Piston head, the piston part. Oh. Okay. Everything's placed inside. We need block tools. Ah, oh, we're out of power. No. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> I remember I was charging this thing. <sighs> At least we know it works. Uh, nope. I need G. I need another small battery. Oh, the small battery was on. Let's get all that stuff off there. Uh, power cells. Cannot withdraw one power cell? Control, uh, production. How many power cells we got? We need more power cells. Uh, power cells. Right there. All components successfully withdrawn. Okay, so we have power again. want to have this be gyro steered instead of wheels No, 
don't blow up the connector. I'm going to soften the suspension way down. Um, wheel suspension. Zero offset. Let's actually put it down to uh I'm actually gonna decrease the steering angle to ten degrees. Probably should turn the uh, where you go. Height offset. Is that even doing anything? It's raising us. Okay. We'll put it back to zero and lock on. Let's turn the batteries to recharge buggy battery. Buggy battery. Recharge and small battery. Recharge. Fully recharged in three hours. Ouch, that's not good. I guess that's what I get for having almost no... No power in them. We have. Not sure exactly why I had construction components in there. And let me see. Uh, so we do have a little bit of uranium, we do have some silicon. Take all of this, pop it over there. What do we have? Decent amount of iron. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got a decent amount of everything so far. Production. Reactor components require silver. Hmm. Silver is going to be something that we get from space. Uh, and we are not really ready to go to space. What was this over here? Oh, gravel. Yep. Uh, let's see. Do we have any unknown signals around? No? No? Nothing. 
Okay. Let's see, what else do I need for the base? Oh, probably should get some turrets up. Um, I think I have drones on, but I haven't seen any yet. So that's something that I've got to be cognizant of. We also should see uh, we can't do yield mods we don't have enough there speed module hmm <clears throat> so far that hasn't been a problem What do we need for turrets? Uh, not interior turrets. Gatling turrets. Let's make two of those. Let's see where we're going to put them. Um, going to need a bunch of steel plates. Probably some interior plate as well. Shut up, timer. Something like that. Probably going to have to come up and pipe that over. But I think I should be able to put it here. Actually, no. I need to pipe that from the bottom. So this is going to have to be a conveyor port. Conveyor junction. Like that. And then... Probably another conveyor junction, I guess. That's going to be a problem. That should now be connected by that point. Yes, okay. And then seven. Pipe this up. that into production. Small steel tubes.
There we go. So we got our first turret up. And I need production. I need to start making some ammo. This thing should be sucking ammo into itself. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, so that's where we're going to end. I am Don from Dead Next Play Games. And we'll see you guys back for the next episode. I'll work on the second turret over on this side. That one's going to be a little bit more difficult to pipe over. Um, probably going to have to come across. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys back next time. Have a good one.